Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video we will discuss a Java interview question that is how to create a our own immutable class in Java or we can say how to create custom immutable class in Java. Let's start discuss about what is immutable class. An immutable class is a class in Java whose object once created then we cannot change its value. String is immutable class in Java. Ok, let's start to write the code. Here we will create our own immutable class. So here first rule that is to create immutable classes the class must be final. So here I have created one class that is final and the second rule is that all instance variable will be private and the final like this private final string value we have declared this instance variable as final so that their value won't be changed once we have initialized and the next rule is we can initialize this instance variable through the constructor like this custom immutable class constructor and here we will initialize this this dot value is equal to str And the next rule is that we will never provide setter methods for this instance variable so that we cannot set the value. So here we will generate only setters method. Source generate getter and setter. And here we will choose only select getters. We had just selected the getters and here public string get value method is generated. So we can say it is an immutable class that is user defined and as we know string class is a immutable class. So there will be no issue if we are using string class as instance variable in user defined immutable class. But if we are using any object that is immutable class and if we are using mutable class instance variable then we need to take some extra care for like if I have declared one more private final string buffer object that is mutable object. So now we need to take more extra care. So here we will pass string buffer sb. So here what need to take care? Here I am using the object of string buffer that is a mutable class and then we should not directly return the instance variable of mutable class like this we cannot directly return we should return the copy of the instance variable like this we need to create the copy this dot sb is equal to new string buffer and here sb dot to string function so here we are returning the copy of this instance variable because this string buffer class is mutable class and this class contains setter methods that can be used to change the value of this instance variable. So here we just returning the copy of the variable. Because we are choosing this way to returning the object and initializing the object. So this way then setter method cannot change the value of this instance variable. And in getter methods, we should not return the original value. 
and in getter method again we need to return the copy of the instance variable so here i will go and generate getter and setter and here i will choose select getters and generate so here we no need to return the instance variable directly we just return its copy so here we will return the copy of the instance variable that is immutable object so we are doing this this we can create our own immutable class and it is a immutable class that contains string that is already immutable class created by java and this is a string buffer class that is mutable and if we are using mutable class in our own immutable class then we need to return its copy of the object no need to return its original value then it will be affected by its setter and getter methods of string buffer class here we can see we have just defined five rules and these five rules are declare class as a final class and all the instance variable all the instance variable should be private and the final like this and initialize all the instance variable via a constructor that will be public and fourth rule is don't provide any setter methods just generate only getter methods so we cannot set the value for these variables and here no need to return the copy of immutable instance we just need to return its copy no need to return its original object or original instance variable Okay thanks for watching this video